Good morning, everybody. This is Devan Kumar. Today we are discussing multiple encryption. Already we discussed regarding encryption that is belonging to single encryption. What is single encryption? We are applying uh, a key value on the text, plain text, only one time. So after we are uh, performing encryption operation. But here our concept is multiple encryption. What is multiple encryption? same data we are applying multiple keys that is uh, means multiple keys means more than one key at least two keys by applying two keys on the data we are going for encryption okay so this session provides a overview of uh, multiple encryption concepts uh, we are also discussing uh, double DS and triple DS algorithms multiple encry encryption is the definition so the process of encrypting data more than once using encryption algorithms or by using keys is known as multiple encryption. It is also known as cascade encryption or national encryption. Okay. So what is the purpose of this multiple encryption? To increase security, confidence, confidence of sensitive data means very secure data. Okay. Purpose of what is the purpose of multiple encryption? Increase security, defense against cryptanalysis, protection against key compromise, increase the key space. And defense against vulnerabilities, compliance with security standards, flexibility and adaptability. These are the purpose of the multiple encryption. This is double DS algorithm. So, for encryption, we are applying uh, two keys, we are getting separate text. Again, for decryption, also again, we are, uh, we are applying uh, keys in reverse order. Okay. So, plain text to P, see here, plain text to P, we are applying by using K1, we are applying encryption. We are getting the, some intermediate product X. On that X, again, we are applying K2. Uh, with the help of uh, K2, again, X uh, can be encrypted, and we are finally, we are getting separate text. So, on the plain text, we are applying two keys K1, K2. Okay. Decryption, reverse, reverse order. So, first, we are up uh, decrypt, uh, take the separate text, apply first K2, reverse order, decrypted. Again, we are getting X. Again, by using K1, again, that should be decrypted. We are getting plain text. This is double DS. Double DS means we are uh, using two keys for encryption, okay? Two keys for decryption. So, if the encryption process is K1, K2, decryption process is K2, K1, okay? This is the same encryption. So, what, what type of uh, plain text? 16 bits of plain text we are taking and encrypting plain text using DS algorithm uh, that uses subkey K1. We are getting intermediate product X. Again, that is interpreted with the help of us. key, uh, sub key K2, finally, we are getting C, already we discussed, okay. So, simply, what is the conclusion here? Simply, on the plain text, we are applying first K1, we are getting one intermediate product X, then again, we are applying uh, K2, again, we are getting final, final one, separate text, that is encryption. Decryption, same decryption. So, in the, in the uh, encryption, what is the order K1, K2? In decryption, that is reverse, K2, K1. First, we are applying on the separate text K2, we are getting intermediate X, uh, output X, X. Next, we are again applying K1. Finally, we are getting plain text P, okay, for the double DS. Triple DS, again. In double DS, we are applying uh, only two keys. Here also, triple DS also, we are applying two keys, but uh, three times we are encrypting the data, okay. First, uh, we are see here, plain text, we are applying uh, K1, we are getting encrypted data, we are getting product A. Again, uh, that should be again by applying K2, we are getting B. Again, by using again K1, applying K1, we are getting separate text. Okay. So, here we are using uh, two, keys, two keys only, but K1 can be applied uh, two times. K2 is applied only one time. Here also same, separate text, same time, same process. Uh, K1, again K2, again K1. Finally, we are getting plain text. This is decryption. Okay. The triple D is with two keys only, okay. Even though we are applying uh, encryption three times, K1, K2, K1, but we are using only two keys only. That's why the triple D is with two keys. Here also we are applying uh, decryption, again uh, triple D is also, but we are applying only two keys, K, uh, K1, K1, K, K2 also, okay, two keys only we are applying, okay. Triple D is with two keys. See here first, uh, we are using sub K1. So, that uh, the output uh, by applying uh, on the plain text K1, we are getting output A. Then again, by applying K2, again, we are getting on one more intermediate product C. By applying again, uh, by uh, encrypting by the help of K1, we are getting finally C. So, 
simply we can say on the plain text uh, we are applying key uh, k sub key k1 we are getting inverted product a on a we are applying again sub key k2 again we are getting intermediate product c so finally on the c again encrypted with the help of k1 we are finally getting this separate text c okay so finally what is the conclusion here for a on the plain text we are applying k1 again we are getting intermediate product after then again on the interval we are uh, applying k2 again we are getting one more interval product then again we are applying k1 so finally we are getting this final separate text for the encryption decryption all same reverse order so again what, how we are decrypting so what, uh, what is the in english what is the last key we are applied k1 so it also we are applying decryption also we are applying k1 first apply k1 we are getting interval product b again that is uh, read uh, encrypted with the help of uh, key k2 again we are getting c output c finally again we are getting finally we are uh, applying with uh, k1 finally we are getting c so separate text c okay so what is the meaning here finally we are getting here plain text okay that is decryption here uh, separate text uh, c, uh, c is nothing but our plain text okay consider this is our plain text not a separate text here should be for some plain text okay next triple ds with triple keys in the previous session we are going for only two keys three times okay one is applied two times but here we are using triple ds means uh, three different keys are applying so on the plain text structure applying k1 we are getting intermediate product applying k2 we are getting intermediate product applying k3 we are getting final separate text similarly similarly reverse order k1 k2 k3 reverse are decryption k3 k2 k1 that is decryption okay same same procedure on the 64 bits of plain text first we are applying k1 we are getting uh, intermediate product output a again that uh, that is uh, again encrypted with the help of k2 again that should be uh, encrypted uh, re uh, with the help of k3 so on the plain text we are applying k1 k2 k3 in bit we are getting intermediate product again uh, intermediate product we are again applying the keys the same thing okay by applying uh, reverse order k3 k2 k1 we are getting finally getting the plain text summary so what is the purpose of multiple encryption we are providing security so we are applying uh, more than one time encryption means we are uh, mainly getting security to boost up security we are using this one so uh, we are uh, with the help of uh, ds algorithms so we are it is possible multi encryption is possible okay this is self assessment questions these are the what does cryptography multiple encryption means so this is self assessment questions what does the multiple encryption serve so choose the best answers so the whole the obvious security enhanced by multiple encryption what kind of defense can multiple encryption offer so terminal questions summarize the purpose of multi multiple encryption demonstrate uh, double ds illustrate a triple ds with the two keys with the neat diagram with the two keys only okay again same question triple ds with three keys summarize multiple encryption and uh, in the associated algorithms these are the terminal questions these are the references okay so thank you